My name is Jamie Lee and today I'll be doing a live reaction to the season finale of Succession. If you've been to my channel before, you know I really enjoy this show. I recently did a video explaining how much I really enjoyed this show, so much so that I binge from season one through to season four in a matter of two weeks. Uh, so I really enjoy it and what I'm really looking forward to most about the season finale is how they're going to tie everything together. I've got so many predictions that run through my mind like who deserves it and are they going to pull a plot twist and how much can they really do in one episode? how much can they wrap up will they wrap everything up or will it be like typical hbo shows that have a really unsatisfying ending or so i've heard anyway because i haven't watched game of thrones but yeah i have no idea and i kind of like that <laughs> it's the element of surprise which normally i don't enjoy but uh in this i have enjoyed so uh yeah i have no idea what's going to go on but i'm really excited to watch it so let's get straight into it hey i'll get the votes this is the cam that i don't like He's so overconfident and so cocky when he has no idea what's going on. I got fucking me. <laughs> I got me. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, Kendall. Jerk Dungeon is being pity spanked down. <laughs> Jerk Dungeon. Success. Success. Yeah. I feel like Matson's playing her. I just can't take him seriously. Tom will honestly suck the biggest dick in the world. <sighs> Love is in the air. Right. So horrible. She's really casual when she's talking to Matson. Like she throws a lot of f bombs, and she's just really casual. Hey, whenever, wherever. <laughs> okay, Shakira. You don't like wow. to fail the test, do you? Yeah, Siobhan? she just wants to not get divorced because it will look like she failed something. That's right. That's like the most honest they've ever been with each other. That's like the most purest thing that I've ever seen them say to each other. Oh, Roman. Poor thing. I just want to give him a hug. Revoke me. Eyes. Like, like human eyes we all have. <laughs> like human eyes you have. Face eggs. <laughs> Face eggs. Oh, she's such a lovely mother. <laughs> Roman. Well, I always said Roman. <laughs> Lies. Oh, they're Roman. fucked to me that way. Okay, yeah, they're fucked. You're fucked. We're fucked. Everyone's fucked. That was the last thing you heard before he went out to the pack. Hey, you fucked it. You fucked it. Oh, poor Roman. It was a very violent fight, which I won, by the way. Which I won, by the way. <laughs> Oh, Roman. Fuck off, Kendall. <laughs> Huge board meeting. <laughs> Early bird catches the Rome. Wow, these guys are just ruthless, eh? Oh, I, I'm the cunt here. <laughs> cunt is as cunt does. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want none of them to win. I want none of them to win. None of them deserve it. Nom, 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 nom. Yes. Sir. What is going on? What is going on? Wow, he might actually keep Tom around. Yes, pitch Tom. Take it for yourself. Wow, these are probably the most honest questions that Tom's ever been asked. I worry all night about everything. Oh my god, Tom. That makes me really sad. That's so honest. What's clickety clickety? Oh, oh my god, okay. Matson is so unhinged. <laughs> So I want to bang your wife, but can I have you? <laughs> oh God. So I wonder if he tells Shiv or if he, if he trusts Matson. Yeah, he's playing too. We knew that from the start. Shiv's too confident. She's too cocky. She always thinks she's won. She always thinks she's had it, but um, yeah, she's not able to do the job. Mind you, I don't think any of them are really capable apart from Kendall. Maybe even Kendall not. Why is Caroline trying to be your motherly now? Say farewell. Yes. Open a new chapter. That's always been my view. Yes. Are we going to get an apology for Italy? Kendall's still hurt from when she dogged him when he wanted to speak to her that night after the accident and she just bailed out. Oh my goodness. She's got her own little agenda going on. If I give you something incredible, wow, would you give me something amazing? <laughs> He's so transactional, Greg. Ken couldn't even give you a watch. I wouldn't trust him. <laughs> pitch it, Greg, pitch it. Wow, he's gonna, he's gonna vouch for her. He's gonna tell her the truth. Wow, he's gonna be a good brother, really? He's fucking you. Bullshit. Yeah, she's gonna think that he's just, it's a play, it's a card. This is what I wanted, the family united and making decisions. This is what I want. It's not going to be a happy ending, but it's what I want. I think she liked Matson so much because she felt in control of him. She felt like she had, you know, respect from him, something that her brothers never gave her. But yeah, the writing was on the wall. He was always playing her. Oh, I feel really sad for her. Don't fucking look at me. What? Hey, I'm sorry. 
she's embarrassed and it's happening all over again. Hey, like this cycle of mistrust and abuse and she's failed and that's making her uncomfortable. A real powerful block. Yes, you're a powerful block together. Kendall, it's going to be Ken. It's always been Ken, goddammit. They're all just fighting for this piece of Logan and this piece of Waystar. It's like, you don't need any of it. You can be so happy without any of this bullshit. Do any of you even want it though? Do any of you even know what you want? Oh, I feel so sad for these kids. Ken and water. Oh my God, what's going to happen? I've heard crazy theories about Ken dying or Roman dying and they're at water. So Ken, I don't want to predict that, but my God, what's going to go on here? Yes, shut up shop and give away the keys. I love that Roman and Shiv have always been a little bit honest with each other. <laughs> That's what? This is so succession. They just can't unite. They just have to stab and keep stabbing. You just try to murder me? God, kids. That is Fuck. So <laughs> not actually what you're meant to do and it's not a good thing to do. You guys oh, gosh. actually just murdered This is so me. succession. You guys are How dare Another you? play. Another manipulation. God. I never learn. Happy Ken, because he thinks he's got his own way. I feel kind of sad for him. <laughs> Don't touch that, it's Peter's cheese. I'm gonna eat his cheese. Peter doesn't <laughs> like the nobbies, darling. Peter doesn't like the nobbies, darling. You're a nobby. You're a I nobby. I love seeing them so happy. I really love this. I know it's not gonna be a happy ending, but God, I love seeing them like this. <laughs> Ew, even, oh yuck, even the shell. Oh yuck. Oh, disgusting shiv. Love it, I love it. I wish that they could be like that all the time. Like, look how happy they are. It's just a shame that there's so much backstab going on behind it. She is such a cow. That's disgusting. Waste of time. What, spending time with your children? What a knob. Honestly, what would they want from their dads? Like there would be nothing in that house that would reflect good memories. So why would they take anything? Oh, this is beautiful. See, they just need to be united. They don't need the stabbing. That's very sad. That's very sad. That's me. They would never expect Tom. They would never suspect him. Ooh, it's on now. It's Tom. Fucked by the dry cleaner. Game on. Fucked by the dry cleaner. <laughs> Greg, you're in trouble. Ooh. Jesus. <laughs> All of these relationships are toxic, but I was really rooting for these guys. The disgusting brothers. Everybody in this game is just so manipulative and conniving and scheming. All of them. Oh, well, looks like they've heard their testicles might be on fire. Yeah, I haven't seen Frank run like that ever. <laughs> His testicles on fire. <laughs> oh, God. I can't look at Hugo without hearing woof, woof. <laughs> like, why isn't it me? That's extremely sad. It's so sad. That makes me feel really sad. And now what? He sits on the throne with his happiness that he doesn't have. Like, the cycle. Cycle of abuse. Okay, here we go. Uh, I might have changed my mind. Wow. What the fuck? So much for a united front. All I've heard out of Ken's mouth was I, 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 I. All about I, 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 me, You can't, me. because you killed someone. Oh my god, she's gonna pull that card. Oh my god. Oh my god. I talked about this on one of my live streams. I was like, do you think that Kendall's accident, accident, will come back to haunt them? I thought Marsha would use it, to be honest with you, but oh my god, Shiv is playing that card. That didn't happen. Wait, uh, it didn't. Liar. It's as in what? It's just, just, it's just a thing I said. It's a thing I. Liar! Oh my god! Lies, dude. Wow, they all pull things out when they need to, don't they? Oh my god! 
Oh my god. They are a pair of randos. Oh. One is a buy-in, the other is half Raba, half some filing cabinet guy, right? Oh my god, Roman. What the fuck? Let go of him. Did you say? What are you doing? Stop. Oh my god. You have no kids. Don't, don't do this. Shit, don't do this. Fuck off me. Oh my god. She's having a fucking baby. Oh my god, I can't believe Roman said that. Randos. Oh my god. Wow. This is what they needed though. They they need to break away from the company. They need to find happiness in other ways and get out of this cycle of abuse cuz fuck, look at it. They're just like wild fucking vultures just attacking each other. Let's hit let's let's hit Frank. Oh my god, Kendall. Oh my god, Kendall. Kendall might neck himself, hey. Like I didn't think that before, but Oh, holy moly. We're nothing. Mm. And he's always known it. He's always been self-aware that they are the way that they are. And he's owned that. I mean, as horrible as it is, he's always owned that. Can you lost? Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. What is he going to do? Oh my God. I feel really sad for Kendall. He's a tosser, but fuck, what's he gonna do? Really don't need those two old cunts on my shoulder. <laughs> you? You fucked it, man. Wow. This is a different Tom. Oh, he bought him from the auction. I got you. Wow. Brutal. So they're out. They're proper out. There's no plays, there's no scheme behind this, they're just out. Oh. Tom is in control. What even is that? <laughs> oh, they are so toxic. Oh, so uncomfortable. Where's Kendall? What the hell? Oh, here we go. Wow, that was really good. I'm not going to lie. I do like that outcome. I really do. I didn't want any of the kids to win. All of the kids have been terrible in this. And I've said that from my first video, none of the kids deserve it. And I don't think any of the kids are capable. Shiv always thinks that, you know, she's so much smarter than she is, but she never actually gets anything done. She thinks she's entitled to these things purely because she's, in my opinion, a woman. Kendall was one that I thought, if any, maybe, but then throughout the seasons, I just came to see that Ken was just full of ideas and none of these ideas ever stuck. He could never get things done. Um, and when he got to the top and it seemed like, yes, you know, he's finally in control and can do this, something would happen and he would crumble. So it was really nice to see at the end of that, that something did happen. He lost, he lost. The king was dethroned and he didn't do anything dramatic. You know, he's still in control even though he thought he wouldn't be able to. So that's bittersweet as well. And Roman, I love seeing his smile on his face at the bar because he's always been self-aware. He's always been the one that knows they're assholes, accepts that they are. I mean, I'm not saying that that's good that they are, but he's always been self-aware of that and been the only one, in my opinion, who is self-aware. So. I never thought that he was capable because he's very emotional. I just don't think that he's emotionally stable to run a business and I really don't think he wants it. I never thought he's wanted it. He just wanted it purely to gain Logan's love. So now that all of them have broke free from the business, well, Shiv kind of, uh, hopefully they can find some sort of happiness. They've broken this cycle of abuse, this cycle of like toxic, being in this toxic empire that Logan built. And in a way, I feel like Logan really won because he knew that none of his kids were capable to run the empire. He all, he said multiple times throughout this show that they were not serious people and they were not capable. So um, yeah, I really feel like in the end he won because now they have the opportunity to break free from the company. I mean, they're still gonna be billionaires. They're still gonna have lots of money, but yeah, they're free from that and free from what Logan and Caroline created them to be, which was animals just purely fighting with each other to get that alpha rank.
And it was really nice to see the kids all being a family and being a unit at Caroline's, you know, making these, I don't want to say meals because it was a concoction. It wasn't really a meal fit for a king, but anyway, doing, you know, sibling stuff. It was really nice to see that. And, you know, I love when they do their cute, adorable little voices and they mock each other. That was so much fun. And it's really hopeful I guess you could say it's really inspiring to think that now they can have that maybe not initially because they're all bitter at the moment but eventually they can come together and be united and we saw that when they were all sitting around and watching that video of Logan that they all got emotional thinking about their memories so they are still a family at the end of the day and there is still love there but now they can have proper love without there being manipulation and backstabbing and the schemes and all this terrible complicated and confusing and complex things going on in the background they can break free from all that and yeah live their lives so I'm really happy with that outcome and I've always loved Tom I really like the change of attitude I like the change of behavior maybe that's hypocritical because he probably is turning into Logan uh, and he probably is starting his own I guess cycle of abuse where uh, he's doing the exact same things that Logan would do maybe he won't I don't know but yeah I'm really glad that Tom got there in the end and that Tom won I'm really satisfied with that outcome I'm not gonna lie so uh, I don't think I have much more to say about that let me know in the comments section if you are happy with the finale of succession if you are happy with with Tom being the successor. Personally, I am. I think that's a really good outcome. Uh, could you like this video before you go? And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel and then head on over to my Instagram and give me a follow over there as well, please. Okay, sweet as. Have a good day. Fuck off. <laughs> Just kidding. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs>